we are taking very seriously the situation around canola as well. I was pleased yesterday to have a good conversation with uh, 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 the uh, president of the Canadian Canola Can uh, Council, Jim Everson. Uh, also today I'll be meeting with Hartley Richardson to talk about uh, the impact that obviously they've undergone with, uh, with the Chinese decisions. Uh, but uh, throughout uh, strong leadership from our, our uh, ministers uh, like, uh, like uh, Jim, uh, Jim Carr here in Winnipeg, uh, uh, the uh, Minister of Agriculture, Marie-Claude Bibot, and of course, Christia Freeland, who remains uh, engaged in this as she was in 2016 on the uh, canola issue we had back then, uh, always uh, quickly reminding people, particularly her Chinese interlocutors, that her father is a canola, canola farmer, uh, and she understands very much how important this industry is to Canadians. Uh, so do we, and that's why we're continuing to work very hard to try and resolve this issue. We, uh, we have heard very clearly that uh, there is a significant interest in sending a high-level high uh, delegation uh, to, uh, to China to talk about the uh, extraordinary work that we do in terms of oversight, inspection, and the science around uh, ensuring uh, the safety of and the, uh, and the quality of uh, everything Canada, uh, Canada exports. Uh, we are certainly looking at that. That's a conversation that uh, my office has had with uh, uh, Madame uh, Bibot, the Minister of Agriculture's office. Uh, it's also something that came up in my conversation yesterday with Jim Everson. Uh, we're very much looking at the possibility of sending a, a high-level de delegation to China.